Hi, Mitch Lady, global credibility expert. You want to watch this episode if you want to see all the things that I'm doing in credibility, but here's more important, how credibility fits into everything that you want to do. All right, so it's taken me a while to sort of test drive everything that's come out post the interview. So I interviewed 500 thought leaders on credibility, finished the interviews in August of 2020, came out with a book in the TED Talk in October of 2020, and have been deploying a number of areas of credibility since. I often get the question, all right, Mitchell, I, I know I need credibility. How does it apply to me? And or what are all the things that you're doing on credibility? So, you know, I actually have created a blueprint and I wanted to share with you. And first, I want to break that into four pieces. So I'm going to give you four different segments of what I'm doing. And you can even see that they're clumped in areas of two. So at a most simplest level, what is a must have that we all have to do? That's the first two. Second two, I'm going to show you the stuff I'm doing, but I'm going to actually let you know where you fit in and how to use this yourself. All right, so first thing worth understanding is first, what is credibility? There are 10 components of credibility, and I've done a number of videos that talk about those 10 components. What we're coupling in, what all of the skill sets have is you demonstrating the person who's who's being understood, the person who's credible, is the quality in which you've trust, know, and like them. It is demonstrating the servant leadership, the intent and commitment to do the right thing, being coachable, the integrity you have, the authenticity, the likability. There's so many elements or 10 areas we're focusing on. And so the first thing that's important is to understand what is credibility and have a common language, a common vocabulary. So I have three assets that you could take a look at. Take a look at the TEDx. We're losing our humanity. I'm tired of watching it happen. Where if we did nothing more than acted credible, we would bring back humanity. Second is the Credibility Nation book. And third is the Credibility Nation community where you could learn what does it mean to be credible while surrounding yourself with other people on that journey. And so the first element is understanding credibility. Now the second, and I'm not sure why we're not taught this, so I'm going to tell you something that we, we really do need to be taught. And that is wearing our purpose on our sleeve. In the interviews, and now uh, over 600 people, 98% of those thought leaders I spoke with could not articulate their purpose in 10 words or less. Now, if you can't articulate your purpose so quickly, if you can't get your purpose out there, you are, and I often say this, you are invisible. Even if people see you and know you, if they're not seeing your purpose, they're not really seeing the real you. So what's important is to be able to, and I call it CPOP, your customer point of pain, customer point of pleasure, customer point of purpose, however you want to call it, but in 10 words or less, 10 words or less, being able to articulate your purpose. Once again, you could you could read about it in the Credibility Nation book. You can go to the Credibility Nation community, in which case there's actually a course. It's a 30 minute course that will help you articulate your purpose. And then one of the products we have is a cred wheel. And that is five questions of five minutes where you get to articulate your purpose, and then answer four other questions that help people trust, know, and like you, right? So first thing, understanding credibility. Second thing, articulate your purpose in 10 words or less. Now, I believe that goes in front of every program. And what I want to take the next step and, and share with you is when I look at other people's programs and I participate inside them and they sign up clients, what they often do is, is when they say to the client, what do you want to do? And the person says, hey, I want to do the following. They'll accept that as is, and they'll help them do their following. 
what I'll say to you is the ability to fine tune their following to be in alignment with their purpose. So they're vibrationally aligned with their purpose makes so much more sense. And so being able to fully articulate your, your purpose ahead of time before going to other programs. So I did two other sets of things that allow, allow us to test drive that one and two works. But what I want to say is if you're running a program today, let's put one and two, a common language in your CPOP, the definition and course of CPOPing in front of your course. It's kind of that simple. So in terms of number three, and this is so that we can actually test drive that the first two actually work. So that was the proposition. Does it work? And in the things that we did, the answer is yes. So number three, align your purpose on and offline. So that is the Credibility Nation community where you get to practice that all the time. The CPOP course helps you actually see it and do it. And probably the most relevant is the five-day challenge. The five-day challenge is the opportunity for you to align your purpose on and offline. And we do that once a quarter. Now let's talk about the fourth area. And this is continually adjusting your servant leadership. Uh, as, as one of the people in our masterminds said, um, this is C-popping. C-popping is the aligning, the continuous alignment of your purpose on and offline. So we have the ACE mastermind. So the ACE one mastermind, we just, we just are wrapping that up and that is a mindset alignment and seven out of eight people absolutely transform themselves in a five month period. Absolutely crazy amazing statistics and there's some some pretty cool um, testimonials on that the next one we're creating is the ace 2 mastermind which is really how to run your business in a very credible way one of the programs we have is called management alignment 10.0 this is for junior unicorns those companies between five and a hundred million growing between a hundred and thousand percent who when the management team no longer knows the first and last name of every employee and their spouse, they're wondering if the company will still be credible. So we have a very significant program to completely, that's why we call it 10 to 0, align the organization from both the CEO level down as well as from the team. And instead of calling it teams, let's say we make a community, the company is a community, and also the individual alignment. We, we're focused on all three levels of alignment. And one of the products, products I've been using for a while and doing is the best-selling author program, where we will have ghostwritten and published a book for you from the time we started working within a six-month period, and the author spent somewhere between five to 10 hours. So here's the cool part. If you take a look at that first two segments, understanding your CPOP, understanding the language, take that and put that in your program. So whether or not you do any of the other things that, that we do, or you use one or you use none, what's important is to have that common language and to be able to allow your clients to be able to articulate their purpose through their CPOP and that's what you you focus on these other areas, these other elements that we've done works because everything we do is focused on pulling in that person's CPOP. So in this video, I articulated the things that everyone must be doing. And then those things that we actually do as well, that could be helpful, but the must be doing that really should be incorporated into everyone's program is understanding and having a common language and be able to articulate your purpose and wear it on your sleeve so, so that you actually are visible, that people can actually see you. And you know, I hope you find this useful. I'm looking forward to exploring this more and probably the next time I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it even a slightly different, maybe better, maybe not way. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye now.